and welcome to another Close Hunter 1 tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about the basics of PHP, uh, what it does, and just do a simple script with you guys. So firstly, PHP stands for PHP Hypertext Preprocessor. Basically, PHP communicates with the server directly instead of communicating with the client. You can do useful things like connecting with databases, talking to the server directly, or grabbing IP addresses from your website visitors. Uh, what you'll need to get started is a piece of software called WAMP Server. WAMP Server stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL and PHP. Basically what this does, it simulates an environment for PHP to run in, also it simulates an environment for MySQL to run in, which we'll get onto later. So if you download this by clicking the download button and following the links from there to download the software, then install it, of course it is free, um, and then start the service. You'll need to go to start, all programs, WAMP server, start WAMP server. So down in the bottom right hand corner of your screen you'll have a little icon like this one here. It might pop up with a little message saying server offline, but you can ignore that because the chances are it isn't. Uh, the next piece of software we're going to talk about is Notepad++. I think Notepad++ is a brilliant bit of software because it has something called syntax highlighting. Syntax highlighting is where the text editor will highlight the text you type in different colors depending on whether it's in brackets, whether it's in quotes, um, and different situations like that. So it basically makes it easier for you to write your code. And this is what we're going to be using in the tutorial. So you can download that as well by following the download links up here. So first of all, we're going to go to the root of my WAMP server. So this is a single click on the icon down here and click localhost here. Uh, this is the default page for WAMP server. It shows you a little uh, little bit of information about the server configuration um, and will give you access to some of the tools here. This is stored in a file or a folder called www. In here you can put all of your web files so that is where I'm going to show you now. So if we click the start button, go to my computer, local disk, uh, local disk C in my case, it could be something different depending on where your programs install. Program files, WAMP, and www. Okay, so as you can see, we have a file in here called index.php. Uh, that is this file here, what is being displayed on our local host. Every file that you want to be your home page, as you probably know, should be called index dot uh, whatever language you're writing in. So we're just going to delete this file now, because we don't want the index page. And we're going to create a new file called hello world.php. So, and we'll just tap enter and confirm we want to change the file type. And now we're going to right click on it, edit with Notepad++. Uh, this will only be here, obviously, if you have installed Notepad++. Notepad++. So this is our default view for Notepad++. You can obviously double click to create new files, right click to close files, um, but it's a fairly simple program so you should be able to learn it quite quickly. Our first line of PHP code in our PHP file should always start with less than question mark PHP. Uh, and just for neatness sake, I'm going to press return here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a simple program slash script that basically outputs hello world. So type an echo command. So that's E-C-H-O. And as you can see now, this is where the syntax highlighting really comes in. Uh, this is red, as you can see here. And this is blue. And if we press space, uh, sing, uh, double quote, and we'll type hello world, a couple of exclamation marks, and double quote again, 
and as you can see everything inside the quotes is grey um, so it's really easy for example on the next line if I was to go like this and miss out a quote it's obvious that I've missed something out somewhere so it's just nice to be able to see if you've screwed something up uh, without having to read through a thing. Um, anyway, each line of code in PHP should end with a semicolon. Each command should end with a semicolon. So we'll just pop that there. Um, next line, um, we just want to close our PHP tags uh, with a question mark and a greater sign. Then we'll just click the Save button once, go back to our web browser, and just after the slash uh, at the end of Locos, we'll type hello world dot php. Uh, enter, and as you can see, we have hello world outputted and written on our page. Uh, that's the end of this tutorial, but I will be doing more fairly soon, I hope. If you do need any help meantime, you can always head over to www.codefreaks.co.uk, and that's freaks with a Z. Um, click the subscribe button if you think any of these are good, um, and I hope this tutorial.